Oh. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you happy to be in God's presence this morning? Are you happy to witness the last Sunday in the month of November 2022? If you are happy, I want you to rise on your feet with me this morning and begin to give thanks, begin to give honor to the King of Kings, the Ahem that I have. The only one that is able to sustain you and your family. The only one that has kept you since the beginning of the year up until this moment. Why don't you give him thanks? Show him your appreciation this morning. Express your gratitude unto the Lord, the King of Kings, the one you have come to meet with this morning. Why don't you give him thanks? Give him quality thanks this morning. Say, Father, I am grateful. Thank you for your help. Thank you for sustenance. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the divine agenda of yours that have been fulfilled in my life and family, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for fulfillment of purpose, Lord, I thank you, Lord. For sanctifying me and my family since the beginning of this month, Lord, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making me and my household verses unto all. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for purifying my soul, my body, and spirit. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise, Lord. Thank you for my children. Thank you for the academics. Thank you for my family. Extended and nuclear. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for bringing us again into your presence this morning. Why don't you celebrate God this morning? Give him all, Lord. Give him all the glory, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord. For no one can come except the Father draws them by himself. Lord, we have gathered here before you this morning. Father, we want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Today is our Thanksgiving and dedicated service, Lord. Lord Jesus, as we will be thanking you this morning, Lord, let the voices of our Thanksgiving this morning be a sweet smelly sound unto you, Lord. Let it be acceptable in your sight this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, now that you are giving God thanks this morning, I want you to begin to express your expectation from this service. Say, Father, in this Thanksgiving and dedicated service, in this fourth Priscilla encounter service, Lord Jesus, let my request, O oh Lord, find answers from you, Lord. Let all my desires, all the desires of my heart be granted this morning, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, let none of my requests escape your visitation this morning, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, in this service, Lord, visit me. In this service, speak unto me, Lord. In this service, show me the way. In this service, Lord Almighty, show me new insights from your word. Show me new revelations from your word this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this service this morning, Lord, reveal unto me pathways to sanctification, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this service this morning, Lord, visit me, Lord. Visit me, visit my household, Lord. Visit my children, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this service, Lord, I refuse to be an onlooker. In this service, Lord, I shall be visited by you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this service, I refuse to be distracted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask this morning that you visit each and every one of us by your word this morning, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let the power in thanksgiving, Lord, release unto us the showers of your blessing, Lord. Because we know when praises go up, the showers of your blessings come down. Lord Jesus, help us to return with your blessings this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Lord, we give you all the praise, Lord. Because we know, Lord, that you are set to bless each and every one of us today. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Celebrate God with a clap offering this morning. Lord, we thank you, we give you glory. I know God has dealt wondrously with us, even during the course of the month, and during the course of the just ended week. Let's endeavor to take down our testimonies, and we shall be called in due course to share them. Praise the Lord. I invite the choir. Hallelujah. Let's raise our hands and thank God once again. Father, we thank you. We are so grateful. Thank you for bringing us back into your presence. 
Father, inhabit our praises this day in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Let the living water flow.
Praise the Lord. Give a shout unto the Lord for he is good. Covenant greetings today. Well, it's my privilege to bring to you the call to worship on this uh, fourth pre Shiloh encounter and thanksgiving and dedication service. And it's taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 103, verse 1. And we're going to read responsibly. We're ready? Okay. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Verse 2 together. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Verse 4. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfied thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles? Verse 6 again. The Lord has accused of righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses. He acts his acts unto the children of Israel. Verse 8 together. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He had to stand together. He has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. If not, we'll be dead. <laughs> Verse 11 For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards them that fear him. And the two of all together, as far as the east is from the west, so far have he removed our transgression from us. But welcome to the Lord bless us, Lord the word in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Please let us listen to this um, special announcement from the Vice President to Hall Mission Station. Fighter information for this Sunday. More than conqueror greetings. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There shall be a special confident hour of prayer session next Saturday, being the last Saturday to Shiloh, it shall feature Thanksgiving, prayer, and praise as we look towards to diverse manifestation of God's presence at Shiloh 2022. The usual time for the job prayer shall be extended by an hour. Please, let us endeavor to be part of this section next Saturday. God bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Are we happy to be in the presence of God this morning? Clap your hand together for Jesus for Jesus. Amen. service, the fourth in the series of our Christiano Encounter Services. In this service, expect an encounter with the power of sanctification from his word, which will create a new beginning in your life and in your family, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The prophetic focus for the month of November 2022 is sanctification secures destiny and eternity. And the anchor scripture is 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. The recommended books for the month include Walking in the newness of life, conquering controlling powers, the blood triumph. All these chap titles are available at Winners Chapel Melbourne, the Dominion Online Store, the Amazon Store, and the Apple Online Store. Soul winning and outreaches. Our individual soul winning endeavors continue, as we all know that this is a calling for every believer, and as we do so, may the perfect reward and reward each and every one of us openly and accordingly in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. House to House Fellowship. Our House to House Fellowship comes every Saturday in all our WSF centers. The time is 5 to 6 p.m. 
Please note, more house providers are needed on our WSF platform to accommodate the Ark of God in their homes. Interested individuals should please indicate accordingly for details. Our home cell locations currently are Rehoboth Home Cell at Annerley and the Glory Home Cell at Red Bank Plains. Tithes and offering. For your tithes, worship offerings, Shiloh sacrifices, vows, and other special seed, the ch church bank details are displayed on the screen. Testimonies. Kindly share the great acts of God in your life so as to see them preserved, multiplied, and perfected. You may send your testimonies to testimonies at winnerschapelbrisbane.org. Praise the Lord. Kingdom service, serving God pays. In accordance with the word of God in Job 36, 11, we encourage you all to join any of our service units. Please do not hesitate to indicate your interest and may God bless you as you serve. Amen. More interested individuals are needed in the following units the children's departments, technical units, the ushering units, media and publicity units, sanctuary keeping units, evangelism and follow-up, the choir and the hospitality units. Kingdom service leaders and heads of units are hereby encouraged to be part of our pre-service prayers between 9.15 and 9.45 a.m. God bless you as you comply. Amen. Amen. Our midweek communion service. Please note, we shall all be connected online to our Melbourne chapters midweek service on YouTube between 6 and 7.30 p.m. Brisbane time every Wednesday. We shall all be waiting on the Lord in fasting and prayers and break our fast with communion. Connect with your loved ones, family and friends for a life-changing encounter on the prayer altar via his word and the communion table. Friday prayer squad. Please endeavor to be part of our 30 minutes prayer for the kingdom on Fridays. The time is 8 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Shiloh 2022. Covenant language. Shiloh 2022 is less than 10 days from now. Hallelujah. Amen. The theme for Shiloh 2022 is Covenant Highways. Preparation towards the feast should begin in earnest, both as a church and as individuals. Everyone should prepare their hearts to be a full partaker of Shiloh 2022, which promises to be an undeniable life-changing experience for all. I shall be looking, for, I shall be looking forward to seeing you all there. Amen. <laughs> Sunday service. Join us every Sunday for an amazing service from 10 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. And don't forget to invite your friends, your families, and your neighbors. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Next Sunday service, the 4th of December, 2022, shall be our prophetic entrance and the last Shiloh encounter service. We urge you to come expectant. Remember, every day is the Lord's day. The day you connect becomes your own day. Please don't miss it for anything. For more information, please visit www.winnerschapelbrisbane.org. Jesus is Lord. Testimony time. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed as you listen to the following documented testimonies. Four years masturbation and womanizing gone. I had been in the bondage of masturbation and womanizing for four years. When Pastor Hagen came here, I was serving at the owner entrance. I told God that if he could do it for me, that I would serve him more. That day, the undesirable habit ceased. I did not feel any edge for masturbation. However, something happened one day. The edge recurred simply because I did not share my testimony. At the breakthrough night, the bishop stressed the importance of serving God with a pure heart. It hit me, so I repented of all my evil ways, asking God for woman uh, for forgiveness. I told God that if he could deliver me from masturbation and womanizing with the blood of sprinkling, that I would share my testimony today. As I am standing here, I am free from masturbation and womanizing. I can't feel the edge anymore. I bless the name of the Lord, and the testifier is Michael E. Hallelujah. Amen. Second testimony is admission via prophetic instruction. After one of Bishop Oyedebo's messages, Concerning kingdom advancement, 
prayer, I started engaging in the same. Shortly after, my name was not shortlisted for admission into the Nigerian law school. Instead, I was issued a major query. As a result, I was destabilized, but then I remembered I was already doing the will of God and He would fix my admission. So I continued in prayer. However, on the 24th of October, 2021, I came for the pre shila encounter service. While ministering, Bishop David Oedepo asked us to ask us to ask God for one thing, what that we wanted, and in 14 days, God would deliver all we had asked for. And my admission, uh, and mine was my admission request. Thereafter, he told us not to ask God for them anymore, but we should keep thanking God for the answers. That same week, in less than 14 days, God did it. While heading to, to my work, I checked my admission status. Lo and behold, I was shortlisted. I return all the glory to God. The testifier is Naomi Aremi. Let's give God the glory for all these wonderful testimonies. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If that clap is for Jesus, let us be better of the King of Kings, the Adam that I am. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, as, it is another last Sunday in the month of November 2022. Has the Lord been good unto us? How many of us, God has been good unto us? Can you wave your hand unto Him? Can you say thank you, Lord Jesus? Father Lord, we say thank you. You know, one thing that we must realize is that we are blessed not because we are smart, not because we know how to do things, but it's by the grace of God. It is by the favor of God. It is important that at every point in time, we take it to heart we take it to mind to appreciate God and to return praises and honor unto his holy name. That is why in this commission, every last Sunday of the month, it is our thanksgiving and dedication service. We dance unto God. We show God that God, you've been the reason for our existence. You've been the reason why we are alive. So we don't assume, we thank God. Collectively, as a church, we thank God. Thanksgiving is a night of gratitude, and gratitude makes us to stay attitude in life. You know, as we normally say, thank you is what gave back to another blessing. If you've not thanked God for what he did for you from the beginning of this month, that means that you are not qualified for any other business in the coming months. That's the reason why at this point in time, from our hearts, We'll be appreciating God. We'll be saying thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you've done upon our children, upon the family, upon the works of our hand. We will dance, we will sing praises unto his holy name, and we're going to appreciate him. And likewise, we'll be dedicating things. What God has done for us. It may be 10 years ago, it may be five years ago, it may be last year. If it is this month that God gave us a new car, if it is this month that we got our job, if it is in the month of November that a promotion comes unto us, or success in our exam, or maybe it's even the month of November that, we, that God brought us to Australia, it is important to remember the heart of God. Sometimes we get used to the blessing of God and we think it is common to everybody. It is not common. It is not common. God has taken us so special. So there is a need for us to appreciate God. If this is the month that you gave birth, it's your birthday month, it is the dedication of your, of your child, or maybe it's this month that your permanent residence was granted unto you. Unto you. You'll be dancing out, you'll be appreciating God, you'll be packaging quality Thanksgiving offering. This is different from our normal offering, our normal service offering. You package your offering, the ushers will go around, and then you will drop your offering into the basket. And uh, at this junction, I'm also going to invite the family of Ojo for the dedication 
of their um, of a, of their baby boy. They'll be dancing forward and will be singing. We'll be we'll be joining them for the celebration. And uh, if also it's your birthday, join them. And God shall accept our praises in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I find the choir. We are saying thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jehovah, thank you. point is that we are handing over the child unto God. That God, this is your blessing and we are returning back on, unto you. And you know what that means. Whatever is in the hands of God it's always better. Because the path of the just is as a shining light. It says it shines brighter and brighter until the perfect day. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you upon this child. Lord, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor. It is your doing and it's marvelous in our sight. Thank you, Lord, for this goodness. Thank you, Lord, for this blessing. Thank you, Lord, for your favor. Thank you, Lord, because the mother go nine months and this is the result. Lord, we give you all the praise. Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray. We hand over this child unto you. Father, Lord, let your blessing be upon it in the mighty name of Jesus. We we'll pray for you that anywhere you get to, the favor of God shall be upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. The glory of God shall overshadow you in the mighty name of Jesus. We we'll pray for you that when it is time for you to walk, it shall be easy for you. When it is time for you to talk, it shall be easy for you. You shall not struggle in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing shall be difficult for you in life. In the mighty name of Jesus, your every part of your body is dedicated unto the Father. In the name of Jesus, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are blessed with the blessing of God. This day I proclaim the blessing of God upon you, and so shall it be now and forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are not to for a completion of the work that God has started in your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your path shall shine in life. Amen. Your path shall be bright in life. Amen. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Everywhere you go, 
the favor of God will answer for you. Amen. Everywhere you go, the blessing of God will answer for you. Amen. Everywhere you go, the glory of God will answer for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing shall be difficult for you in life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every hand that touches you is blessed. Amen. Everyone that blesses you, they are blessed. Amen. Everyone that wishes you good, good shall be in their place. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No evil eye shall behold you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You shall not be sick Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The choir as they dance back to the sea. Hallelujah. Amen. Encounter service grant every worshiper an encounter of a lifetime with your word and the power of thanksgiving. We'll be reading from Psalm chapter 34, verse 1, and it says, I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. With this understanding, we'll be standing and we'll pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for gathering us here today. In this Priscilla Encounter Service, grant every worshiper an encounter of lifetime with your word and the power of thanksgiving. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we, we thank you for gathering us here today. In this Priscilla Encounter Service, grant every worshiper an encounter of life with your word and the power of thanksgiving. What are the areas you want God to grant you an encounter today? Ask God to grant you an encounter in those areas of your life, in your career, in your family, in your finances, in your health, in your job, in your education, ask God for an encounter. He's abundantly able to grant you an encounter today. Tell God to, 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 to touch you in those areas. Those areas you've been struggling, tell God to touch you, tell God that you need an encounter today. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, grant every everybody, every worshiper an encounter of a lifetime with your word and the power of thanksgiving. Father, we need an encounter in our land, Jehovah. Father, grant us an encounter today. We pray for an encounter in this Priscilla encounter service. Father, grant every worshiper an encounter. May we not return back the same way we came. Father, those burdens we came with Jehovah, we pray for an encounter in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for gathering us here today. In this Priscilla encounter service, grant every worshiper an encounter of a lifetime with your word and the power of your test, the power of thanksgiving. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, grant every worshiper an encounter of a lifetime with your word and the power of thanksgiving. In this service, encounter Jehovah, grant every worshiper an encounter of a lifetime with your word and the power of thanksgiving. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we need an encounter in our life, Jehovah. Through your word, we need an encounter in our life, Jehovah. In our spiritual life, we need an encounter. In our sight, in our view. In our finances, we need an encounter. In our health, we need an encounter. Father, grant every worshiper an encounter of a lifetime with your word and the power of thanksgiving. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we need an encounter in the, of a lifetime with your word. We need an encounter of a lifetime with your word. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, grant every worshiper an encounter of a lifetime with your word and the power of thanksgiving. Why don't you wave your hands and say thank you, Lord, for granting us an encounter with his word. Say thank you, Lord, Father. Father, we say thank you. We are here to return all glory unto you for granting us a lifetime encounter with your word and the power of thanksgiving. Father, we say thank you. Jehovah, we worship you. Father, we say thank you. May all glory and honor be unto you, for in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. It's offering time. Hallelujah. It's offering time once again. It's another privilege we have on this Sunday, Thanksgiving, to honor God with our seat this morning. So let's begin to do that package, our tithe, our offering, every other covenant seed we have made with God. Let's also take advantage of our tithing details on the screen. As we have done that, let's rise up on our feet. Let's rise up and begin to thank God. Let's thank God once again that we have come to give him all the grace and we have not appeared before him empty. Father, we thank you, we bless you, be thou exalted. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you for everything you have done in our lives. Thank you for all the benefits. Jehovah, King of glory, we have returned like thou one neighbor to give you all the glory. Jehovah, King of glory, we have not appeared empty. Jehovah, we pray and ask, O God, our Heavenly Father, to accept our seed this day in the name of Jesus. Father, accept our thanks even this day in the name of Jesus. Father, even as we drop our offering, let the windows of heaven be open on our behalf in the name of Jesus. Father, good measure, praise and shaking together shall men give unto our bosom. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let's invite the choir for the ministration and cast our offering. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we ask for your rain to fall upon us this day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let the rain of your presence fall on me Every day that I live With every breath I breathe Let the rain of your presence fall on me Everywhere that I go 
a storm that song into prayer. Let the rain of his presence fall on us this morning. Let the rain of his presence fall on us this morning. Let's turn that song into prayer this morning. Let's pray. Let the rain of his presence fall on us this morning. As God speak to us, Father, let the rain of your presence fall on every soul this morning. In the name of Jesus. Let the rain of your presence flow, come upon us in the name of Jesus. Let the rain of your presence flow on us in the name of Jesus. The Bible says we are come unto Mount Zion. He said unto God, the judge of all. Unto Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. Unto the blood of speaking that speaketh better things than that of Hebel. God will speak to us this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, let the rain of your presence flow over every soul this morning in the name of Jesus. Let your world come forth with power. Let your world be in demonstration of the spirit and the power of God this morning in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given unto every man to profit with that. Lord, let that be the release of your presence. Lord, with your word being accompanied with signs and wonders this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Father, we thank you for this opportunity again to come before you. Father, speak to us, Lord. Speak to our hearts, Lord. Let there be a change in our lives, Lord. Let there be a change, O oh God, as we behold your word, as it's in the glass. Let us be changed by the Spirit of God this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Are you happy to be here this day? Oh, yes. I want you to give a clap of hands to the Lord. Amen. Let's rejoice. Give a clap of Unto the Lord. Amen. You may have your seat. Amen. I want you to welcome the person sitting close to you. Welcome them. Say so you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are welcome to another pre shiloh encounter. God is ready to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want to thank God again for the opportunity. To bring his word to his people. It's an honor, it's a privilege. And we thank God for that again. Amen. Amen. So our prophetic focus again is sanctification, uh, secures destiny and eternity. And we've been talking about that for the past three weeks. And our teaching series understanding pathways to sanctification. Amen. Amen. I want you to say that with me. Sanctification secures destiny. Sanctification secures destiny. And eternity. And eternity. Amen. It's also a shield by encounter service. Amen. Every divine visitation requires spiritual preparation. Are we preparing for Shiloh? Amen. Are we ready? Amen? Amen? Because uh, the, 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 the hunger of a man's soul will always be satisfied. It is a law of the spirit. Amen? God will always answer the heart that cries. God will answer the soul that has. It is the law of the spirit. How are we preparing for Shiloh? Amen? Amen. I want okay, to just to talk about this before we go on to our message for today. First Samuel verse 1, verse 3. If, if you cannot bring it up. First Samuel verse, chapter 1, verse 3. The family, the Hena and his family, they went up to, to, to Shiloh every year. 
The family went up yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord every year. In verse 3 says, and the priests of the Lord were there. Nothing happened. Every year they go. So the God was there, the priests were there, the prophets were there every year. And nothing happened. Let, go to chapter 11, uh, verse, verse 11. Verse 11. And so they went another year until Enoch proposed in his heart. Until he determined that this year will not be a waste. Nothing happened. The Bible says in the Bible too, God, she prophets, everyone was still saying this thing there. So until Hannah proposed or determined or made a decision that this year nothing will escape his answers, then where God happened. And the priest noticed her that she was praying. But the priests were there every year. So he didn't get any attention of God until he decided that something must happen this year. The Bible says there is no temptation happened to us that is not common to every man. So there is no challenge that is happening to us as Christians that is not common to any man. But God always provide a place, a way of escape. And Shiloh is our place of escape. So God has appointed, God has placed something in his path for Hannah for many years. Nothing happened until she proposed, until she decided that something will happen this year. So Shiloh is our place of escape. So what you determine from Shiloh this year is a function of your expectation. Shiloh is, is described as a marketplace where everything is available. But your purchasing power is money in the market. So how much money you have is how much you can get from the market. Our currency in the kingdom is faith. So how much we get from Shiloh is a function of our faith, of our expectation. What is it that we are going through? What is the challenge? Because every challenge of a Christian is a trial of our faith. So God has appointed a place of refuge, and which is Shiloh. So what we get from Shiloh this time around is a function of what we are expecting from God. I just want to acknowledge us that this Shiloh this year will not be a waste of our time in the name of Jesus. That God will visit everybody, every and every worshiper in the name of Jesus. Enoch had a will. He had a dream. Until she made up her mind, her dream didn't come to pass. Her desire did not come to pass, or she desired that something would happen this year. Just like the, the woman of the issue of blood. The Bible says everybody was crowning Jesus, but he touched Jesus with faith. And Jesus said, Somebody has touched me. Everybody was in shield. It's only people that have faith, expectation that they will touch God, and God will touch them back. I want to encourage us, let's be expectant. It may be just a word that God will speak to you that will turn your life turn around. Be expectant. I pray that this shield will be a, 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 a shield of shields for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. That our expectation shall not be cut off. Amen. Amen. That our desires will come to pass. That God 
God will visit us in his own special way as we release our faith to expect something from God in this single in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Quickly, we'll go on to our main focus for this uh, today in sanctification, um, secures destiny and eternity. And may I define sanctification as we honoring God with our life. Honoring God with our conversation. Conversation means what we say, what we do. That's my own definition. Sanctification, honoring God with our lives. Amen. We know from First Thessalonians four three, it is the will of God. The Bible says it is the will of God, even our sanctification. So it is the will of God. Amen. Amen. And we also been taught that uh, it is a not a gift. It is a choice. It is a choice that we have to make to make ourselves acceptable in the blood of the man. Christianity is a waste of life without making heaven. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 19, it says, if only in this world we have hope. He said we are all men most miserable. So Christianity is a waste of life if we fail to make heaven. Amen. And the Bible says that uh, we he said we, we are we are righteous. Second Corinthians 5 21 says, He said he has made us Second Corinthians 5 21. He said we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So we are righteous before God. Amen? Amen. Because of what God has done, what Jesus Christ did for us. And first John 3 7 says, be not deceived. He that doeth righteous is righteous. It's not enough for us to know that we are righteous, but we must do righteousness. Because if we don't do righteousness, we make a mockery of our Christianity. People will find it difficult to differentiate us from unbelievers. People will question our salvation. And that was what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 6 3. He said, Giving no offense. Giving no offense. He said that the ministry be not be blamed. He said, Giving no offense. Amen. 7 Corinthians 6, 14 to 18. 7 Corinthians 6, 14 to 18. He said, Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Amen. Amen. For what? Righteousness with unrighteousness. That's talking to us as Christians. It won't conquer that Christ will be here. What are tell them that believe with that, that does not believe? Let's go to verse 18. Verse 18. It said, no, verse 17. 17, 17 first. Please, 17. We have for come what from among them and be separate. That's sanctification. Say, touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And verse 18 says, and I will be your father. Until we separate ourselves, God cannot be a father to us. Until we do righteousness, God cannot be a father to us. He said, I will be a father to you when you separate yourself from them. Amen. So it is not enough for us to know that we are righteous, that we are righteous before God. But we also must do righteousness. Understanding 
the pathways of sanctification. Quickly, the first one we'll be talking about is uh, mortifying the deeds of the flesh through the spirit. Romans chapter 8, verse 13. You know, at times uh, we, we expect God to do everything for us. Once we are Christians, that's awful things that we need to do ourselves. Amen? Amen. Romans 8, verse 13. Can you just get a provide version, please? 8, 13. 8, 13. For if ye, if you are living according to the impulses of the flesh, he says you are going to die. But if you are living by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are habitually putting to death the sinful deeds of the body. You will live forever. So God is expecting us as Christians to do the job of mortification. Colossians 3, 5 says, Mortify therefore your members upon the earth. So there's a need for us to do righteousness, to mortify the things that make us not Christian. Amen? So put to death and deprive of power the evil longings of your earthly body by the power of the Holy Spirit. So God will not do that for us. If we are for the culture as, as a Christian, if we are a thief or harm robbers, you know, God will not do that for us. We have to do that ourselves. So by the help of the Spirit of God, mortifying the deeds of the flesh. James 5 6 says, the effectual father prayer of the righteous. Amen. Are very much is powerful to deliver from every single act. So there are some things that God will not do for us. And that's why some people who are as Christians, some people want to, you know, kind of understand what is happening. Oh, and they say they are Christians. I don't know if folks have read God's General. You have escaped to man. Amen. If, if, if you read that book, you will see the, the acts of God display. You know, they, they, they are the generals of God. They were so anointed that raw miracles, people will say raw miracles. But some of them, they die in sin. Some of them were insane. Some of them were, were drinking. Were, you know, why? Because there are some things that God will not do for us. Because the anointing to minister is not the same thing anointing to live a godly life. They are two different things. So until we do, we do with it, God will not do anything about it. Amen. And Jude 20 says, Engaging the power of the Holy Spirit, learning to pray in the Spirit, you will be, receive power and enablement to mortify the deeds of the flesh. Amen. G20 says, Can I just do 20, please? So, be yourself on your most holy face, praying, learning to pray in the Spirit of God. That's how we mortify the deeds of the flesh. Amen. Second one says, engage in self purging John 17, 17 says, Jesus was saying, he says, sanctify them by their truth because thy word is truth. One of the ways we engage, we mortify the deeds of the flesh that will separate ourselves unto God is through the Word of God. Having time with the Word of God. The Sabbath says, He said, Thy Lord, I have hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee. Engaging the Word of God for our sanctification. 1 John 3 3 says, 1 John 3 3. And every man that had this hope in him. Did he say God purify? 
What did he say? Mm -hmm. And every man that had this hope in him purifies himself. God will not do it. Every man that had the hope of eternity, that had the hope of being to go to the godly, he said, purify yourself. God will not do that for you. Amen. And number two, he says, recognizing that without faith, it is impossible to be a sanctified guy. Everything in the kingdom needs faith. He said, he that believes that cometh to God must believe that he is, and he is a, a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Everything in the kingdom involves faith. For us to live a sacrifice life, we have to believe that it is possible. We have to believe that God is able to deliver us. We have to believe that it is possible to be righteous, to do righteousness, to honor God with our conversation. Amen. I pray that God will enable us in Jesus' name. Amen. One thing about the kingdom is that whenever there is a, a desire, God always releases the grace. Whenever there is a desire about anything in the kingdom, God always releases the grace. If you say you want to be coming to church every Sunday, You'll be surprised how God will make it happen. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised what God will do. Everything in the kingdom, once you propose in your heart, God will release the grace. Check it out. Anything. Once you desire, once you propose in your heart, God, I want to be in church every Sunday. You will see what God will do. Amen. Because everything in the kingdom is by faith. Amen. Amen. Benefits of sanctification. Amen. Among other things, we know that uh, it secures eternity. But it also secures supernatural rescue when under attack. Psalm 34, verse 7. Psalm 34, verse 7. Because of time, I'm going to run up quickly now. Psalm 34 verse 7. He said, The angel of the Lord encamped round about them. They are fearing. And who is it they are fearing? He that honors God. Amen. He said, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. He that honors God is the one that fears God. So the angels of God. Answer to people, answer to believers that are in right standing with God. Amen. First Peter 3, verse 13 says, He said, And who is he that will harm you if you be followers of them? What? Amen. Amen. Complete it now. Amen. For it is, no, first Peter 3, 3, 13. First Peter 3, 13. And who is it that will have you? He will follow us of that which is good. He said, who is it that say it? And he come to pass. He said, when the Lord God Almighty has not commanded it. Amen. If you are right with God, you are so bold, you know that nobody can touch you. Amen. Amen. You, you, will, you, you, you will be so sure of it. Amen. Benefit of sanctification is also engenders peace and serenity. I'm just going to read one verse there because of time. Amen. Psalm 37, verse 37. Psalm 37, verse 37. 37. Mark the perfect man. And behold, the upright for the end of that man is peace. Amen. Those 
and the benefits of sanctification, you have peace of mind. Amen. Amen. At home, you can just read some uh, Isaiah 59. Let's read Isaiah 59, verse 8. Isaiah 59, verse 8. Sanctification engenders peace and serenity. So Isaiah 59, verse 8. The way of peace, they know not. You see, and there is no judgment in their goings. You see, they have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. Those are the crooked. Those are the people who are unbelieving. Even as Christians, and we are not in right standing with God. The Bible says what? There will not be peace. Amen. But number three says, benefit of sanctification engenders asset to divine secrets. You know, I will know the story of Daniel. Amen. Amen. The story of, Josh, uh, of Joseph. Men that propose in their hearts that they will not defy themselves. That they will honor God. And God releasing unto them divine secrets that elevate them to that place of honor. Amen. 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 And this divine secrets are, are, are the leading, leading ladder to success in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. And I often say this time over and over again, the, the corporate titan, not many churches understood corporate titan. And God released that secret to Papa. And that's why the church today, nobody can understand the finances of that church. Different secrets being released to us as we are right with God and paving way for us as we move through the face of life. Amen? Amen. Don't, be, don't, be, don't, 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 don't have to understand that every Christian has challenges. But when we are right with God, you know, God releases secrets for a way of escape for us. Amen. Amen. You know the story of Ezekiah. God sent a prophet that you're going to die. And he went before God. He said, God, I have served you faithfully. I have served you faithfully. And God sent the prophet back. It's okay, you will not die. And we had 50 more years to your years. That's what sanctification does to us as believers. Amen. It grants us secrets to God. Amen. Amen. Verse number four says, Sanctification secures supernatural surprise. Amen. 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 Psalm 37, verse 18 to 19. Amen. Psalm 37, 18 to 19. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. Amen. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Amen? Amen. Verse number five says, Sanctification procures generational blessings. We know the story of Abraham. We sing the, we sing the song of Abraham's blessings are mine. Amen? But Abraham honored God. And God proclaimed a generational blessings upon him that we as Christians now are partaking of. Because of his righteousness before God. Because of his uprightness with God. He said, in blessing, I will bless you. And I will bless the seed after you. So walking with God procures the generational blessing. You find that some people, you know, some, some people, children, everything is going well for them. And you wonder what is happening. Go and find out their parents were people that served God. 
Their parents were people that have given their life to God. I, I tell you a story. Um, can it hit me? You know, can it hit me? One day, God, God, God woke him up this morning, in the morning. And God said, you know, one of his sons went to war. And said, your son is supposed to die today. But because of you, I've spared his life. That's what sanctification does. It procures generational blessing. I'll tell you, every sacrifice you are doing, every sacrifice, God does not forget. That is, He will never forget our labor of love. God does not. Every sacrifice we make in the kingdom is recorded somewhere. Amen? Amen? Psalm 22, verse 30. He said, One shall serve God, and he shall be counted to him as what? A generation. A seed shall serve him. It shall be accounted to the Lord for a generation. You serving God today, is recorded. Your generation, God is watching over your generation. Amen. Amen. Number six this secures eternity with Christ. Amen. I will know that uh, First Corinthians six nine to eleven. First Corinthians six nine to eleven. First Corinthians six nine to eleven. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 to 11. Knowing not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, or adulterers, nor effeminates, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. It's only people who have sanctified themselves doing righteous, amen, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. I pray at the end of our life, we will not miss heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Cause of our righteousness, cause of ungodliness, it blocks our access to God's presence. Amen. It blocks our access to God's presence. Hebrews 12, verse 4. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 12, verse 4. Hebrews 12, 4. Oh, that's, that's the mix there. Okay. 12, 14. 12, 14, sorry. 12, 14. 12, 14, please. Hebrews 12, 14. Follow peace with all men and holiness. Sanctification, without which no man shall see the Lord. Amen. Amen. If we seek God's presence on a daily basis, then we must endeavor to daily mortify the deeds of the flesh. And that's how our God's prayer is very important. He said, deliver us, lead us not into temptation every day. He said, deliver us from all evil. It's a daily affair. Walking sanctification is a daily affair. He said, lead us not into temptation. He said, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Amen. Block access to divine favor. Psalm 5, 12 says, He said, the Lord will bless the righteous. He said, with favor, we lay and compass them about as with a sheet. Amen. Amen. The way seeking for favor, then we need to walk in righteousness. We need to always, on a daily basis, separate ourselves unto God. Amen. And lastly, um, the cause of ungodliness is engenders untimely deaths. 
Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 20 to 24. So this is a very scary message, passage. God said, if somebody has been sinning and he turned to God, he said he will remember what he's doing now and will forget what he has done before. But if a Christian that has been serving God for many years and then turn away from God and, and he said he will die, he said that which he has done at the moment, that's what will count for him. Amen. 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 Yes, um, uh, Ecclesiastes, um, Ecclesiastes 8 level. Eight. Huh? Yeah, eight. 8 level. Papa shared that, that scripture and I, I've, been, I've been scared since then. Ecclesiastes 8 level. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Do you know it can also be applicable to us as Christians? Delayed judgment is not justification to continue in what we are doing. He says, sentence, because God delayed in executing judgment, people continue to do evil. And they think that there's no God, that God is slack concerning his promise. But see, it can also happen to us as Christians. Because we are God has not judged us, we continue in doing that sin every day. And that is dangerous. Papa described it as a, he said there is a time clock. He said there's a time clock. Maybe your own is 10. Maybe you are at the level of number, number 8 or 9. And God is counting. God is counting. God is counting. Amen. It got me scared. So as Christians, as I said, it is a daily exercise to be presenting ourselves before God and making sure that we live right with God, you know? But it is not by might. It is not by power, it is by the grace of God. And as I said, every time we make up our mind about anything in the kingdom of God, God gives us the grace to do it. Let us stand up in Jesus. Amen. Let us thank God for today. Let us thank God for his word this morning. God has spoken. Let's thank God for his word. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, O oh God. Yes, if anyone is here this morning and he has not given his life to Christ, this is an opportunity to join the family of God. This is an opportunity to come to God in the name of Jesus. Is anybody here in our midst that has not given his or her life to Christ and has not identified with God? If you are here, I want you to raise up your hand and we can pray with you. Is anybody? Amen. Father, we thank God for today. Lord, we bless you with your name. Thank you for your word that has gone forth. Lord, we exalt your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You been blessed this morning. Yes. You can clap better for Jesus, for Jesus, for the kingdom things. Please let's be seated in God's presence. Hallelujah. We are illuminated by the word of God to dominate our world. And the word of God has gone forth. And I pray that the illumination that we have received this morning will be evident to all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. One thing is certain: our God is slow to anger, but is plenteous in mercy. So the only thing and the only chance that we have as believers, as we have heard from the world, is repentance. No matter what it is, we need to come to repentance. We need to restitute with God. We need to what? To come to repentance. Praise the Lord. When you look at that uh, 
example that was painted in the book of Ezekiel. What comes to your mind as believer is what happened to David. Someone killed. He also committed adultery. In our world now, they call it two count charges. Praise the Lord. You committed adultery. You killed a woman. You fornicated with her. You say killed her. Hallelujah. I mean, you killed his husband. I mean, her husband, right? Praise the Lord. But God said, I have found David, my servant. And he says, with my only oil have I anointed it. When you hear that, you know, with your common knowledge, you tend to think, ah, how can God do this kind of thing? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But that is to show you that our God is slow to anger and is plenteous in mercy. Yes. So it doesn't matter what anybody has done with their past or in their past. God is ready. God has an open heart to receive everyone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To receive everyone the same way the father of the prodigal son received them and also celebrated them. He made a feast for the, for the son. Praise the Lord. The same way God is always willing to welcome us back to him. And I pray that for any one of us here that might have been going the other way, I pray that God will give us a turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He will give us the grace to make a U-turn from our ways in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, one thing that we must understand is that being a member of a church does not connote being a member of the household of faith. A testimony was shared. Someone had been born again since 2005, but he only got saved in 2011. Praise the Lord. The question that comes to your mind is what has he been doing? What has been happening in his life between 2005 and 2011? So what has he been claiming to be? A Christian, an unbeliever, or a believer? So he claimed to be born again in 2005, but he actually got saved in 2011. Praise the Lord. So that tells you that not all lifted hands in the house of God are holy hands. People come to church with different motives. People come to church with different mindsets. People come to church with different things hidden under their clothes. Praise the Lord. But I pray that for you and I today, the word that as we have heard this morning, the word of sanctification, I pray that it will ignite a new way of life in us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I said that word will ignite a new way of life in us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, I know we have some special people in our midst this morning. I would like to welcome you in Winner's Way this morning. If you are worshiping with us for the first time, we would like you to stand on your feet and allow us to welcome you in Winner's Way this morning. Please rise up on your feet, my brothers and sister. Rise up on your feet. Welcome, welcome. Please offer them and shake. Welcome them with love. Show them some love this morning. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. of the Living Faith Church worldwide. We have branches all across the world. We have branches in Kenya, branches in Zimbabwe, everywhere, any country in the world, you can name it. And our ushers will place a pamphlet in your hands. Please kindly endeavor to put those things. And there are also, there is the bigger part of the pamphlet there that tells you more about this church. This is Winner's Chapel, and we win all battles of life. We win all battles, and you can see there is love in our midst. We are mighty in the hands of God. And I pray that the time that you have become part of us will be a time to remember for good in your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I said, as you allow God to establish and plant you here, new, new things will begin to happen for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you don't mind, I would like you to rise on your feet. I would like to pray a prayer for you this morning. Please rise on your feet. Let's say a word of prayer. Brethren, you can stretch forth your hand to them and bless them with the kind of blessings that you would like to proclaim upon yourself that God should prosper the work of their hands, 
that what they have come to do in Australia, that God will establish them in the mighty name of Jesus. That nothing will go down for them in their lives in the name of Jesus. Please pray for them, pray for them. The kind of prayer you would like to pray for yourself, I want you to pray for them this morning. That in all the lady aims to do, God will prosper them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Everlasting Father, we thank you, we give you praise. We thank you for the lives of these brothers and sisters. Lord, we thank you for bringing them here. They are not here by accident. They are here because you have ordained that they will be here. Lord Jesus, I pray that from now onward, Lord, let things begin to take a new turn in their lives and family in the name of Jesus. Anything they lay their hands to do prospers in the name of Jesus. I say nothing will go down for them anymore in the name of Jesus. The last breakdown they ever know will be the last in the mighty name of Jesus. Breakthrough on every side shall be their portion from now onward in the mighty name of Jesus. Academic excellence, academic success shall be their portion in the name of Jesus. The ones that are in business, I pray Lord that you establish them profitably in the mighty name of Jesus. You are moving forward and you are going places in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please be seated in God's presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So the word for us this morning is, let's not assume our salvation. Let's not assume our salvation. Assumption of our salvation can lead to frustration. Praise the Lord. As a matter of fact, from the world, God dropped something in my heart. That Christianity will be a barren adventure without a genuine salvation. Praise the Lord. So without the genuineness or the proof of the genuineness of our salvation, Christianity will be a barren adventure. That means there won't be fruitfulness. But for us, our case is different in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Just a few announcements before we share the goodness this morning. Um... Next Saturday, as it has been read to us, there shall be a special covenant hour of prayer. So next Saturday, uh, being the last covenant hour of prayer for the year, so it will be a special Saturday, and it has been pro pronounced by Papa that it will be prolonged for one hour more than the usual one hour. Praise the Lord. So let's endeavor to be part of it as we get set for Shiloh 2022 as well. And I also want us to know that we are making preparations to make sure that this place becomes a viewing center for Shiloh 2022. And I pray that as you also pray along with us, God will make everything possible for us to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, next Sunday will also be our, it will be the last Shiloh encounter service. It will also be our prophetic entrance service into the month of December. Praise the Lord. And the Sunday after will be our Shiloh Thanksgiving Sunday. And I, I, I'm sure you don't want to miss that Sunday. And I pray that as we make it an appointment with God, God will definitely decorate you and your family with blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's rise on our feet this morning for a word of blessing before we share the grace. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. For the success of today's service, we give you all the glory, Lord. Thank you for the word which has gone, which has come our way this morning. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you establish the word that we have had in the heart of every individual here in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You have never left us alone with, without your blessing. Lord, let your blessing follow after every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, let the blessings of redemption follow after us in the name of Jesus. I want you to stretch out your hand this morning if you believe in this prayers, Father, this week becomes a week of favor for everyone in the name of Jesus. Everywhere we step into, you will give unto us for a possession in the name of Jesus. I say when others are saying there's a casting down, we shall be saying there's a lifting up. In the mighty name of Jesus. This year, 2022, the Lord will crown for you and I with success in the mighty name of Jesus. He will crown this year for you with goodness and mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that concerning your families, your siblings, your loved ones, your children, your wife, your husband, that are back home or far and near, I pray that concerning them it shall be good news. Amen. From you to them it shall be good news. Amen. 
no evil report shall be shared in your own company in the mighty name of Jesus. And God is wiping away all tears from our faces in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the voice of our supplication and thanksgiving this morning have been heard by God and express answers are following after from today in the mighty name of Jesus. If there is anyone here, you might have written applications or submitted applications for job or for one thing or the other. I pray that this week you will hear good news in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say amen like you believe it. I said this week you will hear good news in the mighty name of Jesus. Over your children and family, you will not weep in the mighty name of Jesus. Over your children and family, it shall be laughter in the mighty name of Jesus. Every day shall be like Christmas for you and your household in the mighty name of Jesus. Every day shall be a celebration day for you in the name of Jesus. I pray that before any need arises in your family or concerning your academics, I pray that the provisions would have been there already in the name of Jesus. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate God with a clap offering this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We share the goodness and fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Peace. Praise the Lord. I'm more than a conqueror. Congratulations. Congratulations. Amen and amen. We have item seven there. We have some food there. Please, let's enjoy.